Henry Clarkson from Tarkir Studios. I'm a producer for Little Nightmares. I'm Richard Meredith, um, gameplay coder who work mostly with the uh, player character six in Little Nightmares. So, um, congratulations first for a fantastic game. I played it and also uh, NCP played it and we absolutely loved it. Thank you. It was <laughs> really, really good. Um, uh, what kind of a genre is it? Uh, yeah, so we call it a suspense. Uh, Suspense. Suspense adventure. Adventure, yeah, I was like, the phrase. yeah, suspense adventure game. Uh, so it's not like a full-on adventure game where you, you know, expect to go like over mountains or all over the place. But it, it's more of a, a, a smaller kind of experience. It's not a stealth sneaker kind of thing, but there is some something like this as well. So it, it's like a, a mixture of genres. It's not a platformer adventure, it's not a horror game, it's, it's a mix of it's everything in between, yeah. It gets quite intense in some places, but we didn't want to, we didn't want it to be explicitly a horror game, because it's not, we didn't want people to go with that expectation. But there are moments when it's very tense, moments when you're, it's scary, um, so yeah. Did the game turn out the way it should? <laughs> or did you have a different idea from the beginning? I think it's actually very, a lot of things are very similar to what we had from quite early on. Like, there's a fair bit of stuff that changed and kind of iterated through, but I mean, the core of it and what we were trying to achieve with the small character in the big world and like that sense of uh, uh, kind of fear and childhood fears and the, the charm that runs through it as well. Because it's not all dark and bleak, like, there is a certain kind of cuteness and charm in there as well. All of those things are things we were trying to achieve, and I think that you know things stayed a little bit differently during the development, but it largely is the same game we started out with. Yeah. What was the inspiration of the creatures? Uh, we we have a, a, an extremely talented concept artist. Uh, I don't want to know what's going on his, in his head <laughs> or in his nightmares, but apparently he manages to draw it on paper, and then we put them in the game. So we put milder versions in the game. Yes. What he draws is like way too, way too scary <laughs> to actually put into a product that people will will play. Yeah. Was it his nightmares that he come Or we don't probably, know that. probably, probably. Yeah. But <laughs> um, there are a lot of rumors and uh, speculations on what the story actually is and what the connections with the lady and the six. Do we get to know? Can you tell us what the actual plot is? Uh, do you not, want to reveal that? <laughs> not at this time, no. Right now, we're not gonna like tell anyone explicitly how it is because we want people to to theorize about it. We want to hear what what you think, uh, you know, from what, from the perspective where we make the games. We don't, we just don't like it being that explicit. Uh, we want you to kind of you know activate your own mind and 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 interpret things for yourself. It's not. It doesn't send uh, as powerful a message if you're told uh, how to think, what to feel, what's going on. But if you have to interpret for yourself, you're being a lot more active and you can... Yeah, it's just the way we prefer. Uh, we're going to reveal more things eventually and we're, we're gonna like... Uh, again, we're not gonna be super explicit, but we also don't want to be the game where nothing is ever told, you know. There, there is a truth behind it and we're gonna show you bits of it, but you're, everyone's going to have to free, figure it out for themselves. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, there's some clues in there, but it's not going to be nailed down exactly what that is at this point. Um, you know, you can sort of look at it in multiple different ways, and it also sort of, depending on how you look at it, it reframes the earlier parts of the game and reframes your relationship with her. Um, I think that's good to have people having that yeah, of course. Yeah, we like to have people have that conflict and decide for themselves how they feel yeah. about what they see. It's part of the fun, of course, yeah. like playing as well, yeah. And, and especially, it's just really fun for us to read the theories online and just yeah. laugh at everyone. Yeah. Yeah. stuff that I've seen that was uh, things that we talked about towards the beginning of the project um, that I remember the, um, the design director talking about early on that I'd kind of forgotten about and then people actually picked that up from what came through in the game. So, you know, people are picking up stuff that even, like, I'd forgotten about Wow. Just by working on the that's game, just like, that's, so that's cool. really nice that people are picking up on those really subtle things and piecing yeah. stuff together. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, if you don't have anything else, we don't want to make the show too, too long. <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Not today. No. All right. But we're looking forward to um, hopefully see a sequel or yeah. another, another game from you guys and um, some more info about what's actually going on.
bum, bum, bum. <laughs> to be continued. To be continued. Well, Orbison. thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah.